you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby, I live in New York City and this is my lifestyle channel. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and take a second to click that subscribe button right down below. I post new videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and we're trying to reach 7K. That is the next goal here for this channel. We have a huge favorites video today. I do these occasionally, um, especially when I have like lots of products that I want to mention. And so in today's September favorites, we have a lot to cover. The list is still extremely long and I already tried to edit and cut a few products. So without further ado, I think we just have to jump into today's video. We have a couple fall themed things. I feel like I get you know, obviously very much into the fall spirit come September, but I really feel like the fall makeup trends for me start a bit more like into October. So a few of these things are kind of like end of summer, beginning of fall, and then some are like very much fall themed, and then others are just products that I've really been loving. I'm gonna have everything linked down below though, so without further ado, let's just jump into these September favorites. So let's just start with skincare first. Up first is the I Do Care Namaste Kitten Clarifying Cannabis Hemp Seed Oil Cleanser. I actually got this in PR and I've been using it now for about three weeks and I have really been enjoying this stuff. I know that skincare products with CBD are supposed to be really great for just kind of like calming the skin, nourishing the skin, and helping with any sort of inflammation, but oftentimes CBD skincare products that I've tried in the past just smell terrible to me to the point that like there's no way that I could continue using them. This however smells absolutely incredible. It's a super fresh and just like spa-like scent. Same goes with this product. I was actually sent this in PR. Quite a few products mentioned in today's video I was sent in PR, but again, they're not sponsored. I just receive a lot of products from brands. I'm very, very lucky. I receive a lot of skincare and a lot of beauty items from brands, and so I'm constantly trying out new things and seeing what I can recommend or what I would say you can pass on. This, though, is definitely a recommendation. This is the Versed Just Breathe Clarifying Serum with Willow Bark Extract and zinc blend. I've been using this both day and night during my morning and evening skincare routines and I just really love this addition. Addition to my routine I should say. I've definitely found that it's been helping when I deal with like a little bit of congestion around that time of the month. I've been using this for about a month and a half now. So those are the skincare products that I wanted to give a special shout out to. Also by the way Dakota is sleeping right behind me in this video which I think is so cute. Moving right along into body care I swear this is one of the last products that I was sent in PR, but this is the Paula's Choice 5% Niacinamide Body Serum. So this is supposed to help with restoring an even skin tone, um, helping with any sort of texture that you might have on your body. I have been absolutely loving this. I'm not surprised considering like I love everything that Paula's Choice comes out with. They're such a good brand worth every penny. Their products are such high quality and they do exactly what they say that they're going to. I have been specifically loving using this on my legs on the days that I shave. Um, even if I use a super clean razor, you know, that's like really sharp, ready to go, I still deal with bumps after I shave. I've tried different shaving creams. I've tried different razors. I have a razor that I love and that I feel like is the best razor I've ever tried, but it still leaves those bumps from time to time. So what I'll do is on the days that I shave, like I said, I'll get out of the shower, I'll completely dry off, I'll wait like 30 minutes or so to apply this, but then I will. And because it's a body serum, it basically it's a super lightweight body lotion that absorbs really quickly into the skin. It moisturizes for sure, definitely hydrates the skin, but it doesn't feel greasy afterwards. It doesn't feel thick or like I have an oil on, it's not slick. I can't stand body lotions that I can feel after applying, if that makes sense, and this definitely does not do that. And not only does it just feel incredible on the skin, but it really has helped the bumps post-shaving not be a thing anymore. I think I've talked about this a couple of times here on my channel, but I'm gonna talk about it again, the Fenty Skin Hydro Reset Intensive Recovery Hand Mask. This stuff is so good. I use this all year round, but especially as we are moving into the fall and winter, this is an essential. This is my last step before going to bed. I get into bed, I apply my lip mask for the night, and then I apply this to my hands. It is a super, super thick, moisturizing treatment. You do not want to use this as like a normal hand lotion. Your hands will be so greasy. I'm hoping you guys can see the consistency. It almost kind of looks like Vaseline, but I promise it doesn't feel like that. But when you put this on before bed, you wake up in the morning with like the most moisturized, 
hydrated hands. They just look and feel so good. Um, obviously, for cold weather, this is a must. But also, like I said, throughout the entire year, we're washing our hands. We're sanitizing constantly. My hands have definitely been drier than ever before because of the pandemic. So this is just, it's a must. Rihanna knew what she was doing when she made this. Let's go into hair care next. Why not? I only have two products to talk about, but they are so good. This right here. This is the Dream Duo. Ah, oh, these products are so good. I've talked about them on my TikTok already, which if you're not following me on TikTok, you definitely should. Ruby Lochner Official, we're trying to hit 25,000 followers on there. Absolutely freaking incredible. And I used both of these when I was styling my hair today after I washed it. So the first product is this right here. This is the JVN Complete Instant Recovery Serum. JVN, I am truly like one of their biggest fans. I actually just got on their PR list recently and I was freaking out because I was like, I swear, Jonathan knows who I am now. This stuff is incredible though. First of all, it comes in a giant glass tub. I've had this for months now. I purchased this during the Spring Sephora VIB sale. I've been using this every time I wash my hair and yet I still have like more than half the jar left. Their products are also so affordable, especially for a more like luxury hair care brand. I just think that they're like really great price for price wise I really can't talk it smells like lemon it's like a super fresh like citrusy scent um, but anyways so basically this is a styling product that is going to help protect your hair from heat it's also gonna help condition your hair and make sure that it's soft silky it's gonna help tame frizz it's basically just an all-in-one product and then obviously I have to talk about the best hair oil on the planet you cannot change my mind this is literally the best hair oil to ever exist it is super expensive however it lasts for a really long time and like I said it is incredibly worth it. This is the Orbe Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. This is the only hair oil that you literally cannot overuse. You can do like five pumps of this and it still will not weigh your hair down. Doesn't mean I always do five pumps of this, although sometimes my hair does need that added moisture. Usually I'll just mix like half a pump in with the serum and then finish my hair off with a full pump. It is so, so, so good though. It is one of my top favorite hair care products of all time. I'm trying not to like race through these products, but I have so much to talk about that I wanna make sure I'm not dedicating like 10 minutes to each product because I could definitely like very easily do that. You guys know I'm a talker. Let's dive into fragrances though. I think I'm actually gonna save the makeup for last because I have the most makeup to talk about for sure. It's like just starting to get cool and crisp outside. So I haven't really like dived into the fall fragrances yet at least not a lot so the two fragrances that i'm going to talk about are a bit more on the floral side although one i think is definitely like you could really use it for the fall time both are a little bit more expensive unfortunately i haven't been trying that many like affordable fragrances recently um but you guys know i definitely do see the value in like investing in fragrances and i love learning about perfumes and collecting them the first one that i've been wearing a ton is this one from Deptique, and this is in the set dosen it's either dosen dosan I i've heard it pronounced a ton of different ways. The point is I love this perfume. This is actually my second bottle and this was the limited edition like blue bottle that they did recently. I don't think they sell this exact packaging anymore but like if you get the normal bottle the scent is obviously exactly the same. Diptyque, their fragrances and their candles obviously are just absolutely beautiful. Um, they're a great gift item. Like if you know somebody really well where you feel confident either buying them a candle or a perfume, I would definitely go to Diptyque. Also, again, a great item to like put on your wish list. Just thinking ahead for the holidays because pretty soon guys, those are going to be hitting us real quick. Now this is a floral fragrance and I am going to read you guys the scent notes, but if I had to describe kind of what this smells like to me, I would say that this almost smells like a more intensified and mature version of Gucci Bloom. Uh, it smells absolutely incredible, but the scent notes for this let me pull them up on my phone tuberose orange blossom and jasmine so you definitely do get like a pretty heavy rose scent when you first spray this but it's not like a green floral scent it's definitely a bit warmer and then there's also amber wood in this as well i think it would be really hard to find a person who does not like this scent this is actually one of my most complimented fragrances every time i wear this people stop and ask me what i'm wearing which is like one of the biggest compliments that you can give to a perfume lover like myself so i i just really love this 10 out of 10 and then the other Another perfume that I've been loving is actually from Olfactory and this is the City Love perfume. Now if you follow me on TikTok you would know that I actually designed this fragrance. This is my collaboration with Olfactory. I did this a few months ago on TikTok but that is not the reason that I'm talking about it today. Yes I designed this. Yes I'm incredibly proud of it and I want to shout it from the rooftops but it also smells incredible and it is truly 
one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. This is actually my second bottle. I went through the first bottle pretty fast, and so I purchased this last week. Little backstory, Olfactory is a place here in New York City where you can actually design your own custom perfume, and they asked me a while ago if I wanted to do a collaboration with them, come in, design my own fragrance, and then they now sell it online. And so I was like, absolutely, you guys know how much I'm obsessed with perfume. And so I designed this one, and I, like I said, I truly, truly love it, and I will link it down below because you guys can obviously purchase it. And I do have a discount code as well. I believe it gets you 15% off. I'll leave it again in the description down below. I wanted a fragrance that I could wear year round and that was very like soft and romantic and reminded me of like going out on dates with my boyfriend Kevin here in New York City, which is why I named it City Love. As far as the notes that are in this perfume, there is Indian Jasmine and French Jasmine along with tuberose. And then there's just a touch of sweet kind of warmth to the fragrance with a little bit of vanilla. Oh, and sandalwood. How could I forget that? There's vanilla and sandalwood. You guys know I'm obsessed with sandalwood. So it's a beautiful floral fragrance. I love jasmine and rose. You guys know that, but I also love a more kind of like musky vanilla scent as well. And I feel like you just kind of get the best of both worlds with this. Definitely check it out though if you haven't already and let me know if you purchased it, if you're going to purchase it. Um, but yeah, City Love Olfactory designed by me. Okay, finally, let's dive into all of the makeup. I have so many products to talk about, but like I said, I don't do favorites videos like every single month. So I feel like when I do them, I always have a lot to talk about because it's been like quite a few months since the previous one. I'm going to go in order so that it doesn't confuse you guys because like I said, we do have a lot to get through. So I'm going to start with foundations. All three of these foundations are very new launches, but I've had enough time to play with them that I know that I truly love them and they deserve like a spot in today's video. And what's nice is they're all actually completely different from one another, so I don't feel bad putting so many foundations in this video. So up first, we have the Summer Fridays Skin Tint. And again, if you guys wanna see my first impressions on this, definitely go watch my TikTok. I have the shade four, which is basically just a light, medium, neutral. You guys know on a day-to-day -day basis, I love a skin tint. And then I'll go in with concealer to like build up coverage where I need it. I truly do think though that this is one of the best skin tints I've ever tried. Dare I say, I think it's even better than the Glossier skin tint, which you guys know I absolutely love. The only reason that I would maybe put this a little higher is because it has just a bit more hydration to it and a tiny bit more coverage to it as well. I don't know though, I still love my Glossier skin tint, you guys, and you know that. And this is one of those really easy products you can literally blend out with your fingers. It takes like five seconds. Okay, up next I have the brand new Patrick Ta um, major Skin Cream Foundation and Powder Duo. I have mine in the shade Light 3, which let me just say the color match for this, like, perfect. It might be one of the best like shade matches I've ever found for my skin. I was beyond excited when Patrick Ta was announcing the release for this because I love everything that Patrick Ta has come out with so far and I just thought that this was a super inventive product with the cream foundation and powder in one. Not only is it a great product for just like traveling or being on the go but I also think it's a great product for makeup artists because you get two products in one. I don't really do um, much like freelance makeup artistry anymore, but when I did, if this would have been around, I would have bought this in every single color for my kit. Especially because, and I know that this is a bold claim, but I have no problem with saying it, this is the best cream foundation I have ever tried. Cream foundations can be tricky. I find that they really like settle into the skin in a way that's very unflattering on me and I don't know what it is. I've tried it, I've tried them with like sponges, I've tried them with brushes, even applying with my fingers and I'm always just left really disappointed and I'm left returning the product. This on the other hand, no. Stunning, flawless, it's your skin but better, it makes your skin look airbrushed. And then I love the fact that the powder is more of a like almost a highlighting powder. It definitely doesn't match exactly like the color of the foundation. But that's perfect because for me at least when I like use powder to set my foundation, I only use it underneath the eyes, on my chin and on my forehead, which is where I would want like a more highlighting powder anyways. It's so creamy, so easy to work with. I've used it with both a brush and sponge. Both work beautifully. Um, I cannot recommend this enough. Again, I have a first impressions up on my TikTok and people were like freaking out about how good it looked. Lastly for foundations, and I'm gonna have to control myself because I could definitely talk about this for at least 30 minutes. This is the brand new House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. Now this is the newest out of the new foundations that I just talked about. 
I only used this for about a week and a half and yet it had to go into this video. I know I just ranted and raved about the Patrick Ta foundation, which don't get me wrong, like I said, I love it. I feel like that's the best cream foundation I've ever used. This though, and I'm gonna like, again, go ahead and say it. I think this is the best foundation launch, not only of the year, but I think this is the best foundation I've ever tried. Which honestly makes me so excited to say Lady Gaga killed this launch, killed this formula. It is so good. I wear the shade 200 light medium neutral. Again, shade match is just perfect. I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm trying out something else today, although it took everything in me to not like, like, lather this on my face today. I don't know any other way to say this other than it's literally skincare foundation. Like there's like 20 plus skincare ingredients in this. So it feels like a skincare product, but it's a foundation. It's like light to medium coverage. It literally, it's not even like your skin, but better. It's literally just your skin, but boosted. I, I don't know any other way to describe it. It wears beautifully. Like literally there's no breaking up. There's no settling into pores. Please check out my multiple TikToks that I've made on this because I did a first impressions, I did a wear test. It is fantastic. I think that this is exactly the kind of foundation that was missing from the market. Like I said, I think it's the best foundation I've ever tried. It's definitely the best foundation launch of the year. And it's just, it's stellar. I have two concealers to talk about, both of which are new launches. As we're getting into like the holidays and like the last quarter of the year, that is always the time that makeup brands just come out with launch after launch after launch. So I feel like I've been trying out a lot of stuff, which again, if you wanna see that, I'm always posting like quick first impressions and reviews over on my TikTok. The first concealer that I wanna talk about is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. That is a mouthful. Here's what the packaging looks like. So cute and dainty. I have the shade pecan. I have tried this on both my face and my under eyes. I will say this shade in particular is definitely better suited for my face. I am going to go back and buy a lighter shade specifically for underneath my eyes because I have been using this and gravitating towards this so much that I just like, I know I'm going to use it a lot if I have a lighter shade. This stuff is phenomenal. Now the original Born This Way concealer, I just do not like. It is way too heavy and it just sits on my face, not in a comfortable way. It's too matte on my skin. I'm just not a fan of it. I know that I used to like it, but as my preference for makeup changed and my skin changed, honestly, I just like really didn't like it anymore. So when they came out with kind of like the cousin to the original Born This Way foundation, I was really excited to try this. It gives a beautiful luminous finish on the skin. It blends out like in point two seconds. You barely have to like use any pressure, whether you're blending it out with a brush or a sponge, it takes like less than a second. It gives a really nice, decent amount of coverage. I like the pointed applicator. It makes it very easy to like get underneath the eyes and everything like that. I think Too Faced really has a win with this. I'm eager to see more people talk about it because so far I really haven't, but it's definitely a win in my book. And again, great for both the face and the under eyes as well. And then the other concealer that I wanted to mention is the new Milk Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I have mine in the shade 9N, so basically 9 neutral. You guys know how much I have just been loving the Milk Bionic Glow, and so when I saw that they were coming out with a concealer, I was like, you know what, I'm in the mood to try more from Milk, considering how much I've been loving that other product from them. This is supposed to be a multi-use concealer, again, one that you can use both underneath the eyes and on the face. And again, a really nice pointy applicator. I actually really do love this. Now I'm gonna say for me, even though this is supposed to be a multi-purpose concealer, I don't really like this underneath my my eyes. However, I love it on my face. I know that oftentimes when we think about milk makeup, we think of super minimal coverage. However, this gives a really nice medium buildable coverage finish. It does a really nice job of covering up redness and blemishes super quickly and easily. It's a very hydrating formula. I think in the winter time, I'm really going to enjoy this. On my under eyes, even when I applied a thin layer, just creased too quickly and too easily on me. I tried it with multiple different primers and setting sprays and powders, and it just wasn't working out for me. But that's okay considering how much I really like like it on the face. So both are great new concealer launches. You guys know I love trying out like new concealers and new blushes. That is like what I love to do constantly and so these have really been great and they were definitely like a must to add into my favorites. Guys I just stopped filming for a second to add some little like butterfly like mini claw clips into my hair to stop from constantly having to do this. It was really annoying me. I don't know what's going on with the front of my hair like I said but while I was in the mirror putting these in I noticed that I had lipstick on my teeth which I 
swore I checked before I started filming. I hope that was not noticeable the entire time, but if it was, I apologize. <laughs> we just keep it real here, and I never claimed that I was a perfect content creator, the perfect beauty guru, so we're just gonna keep going. All right, speaking of blushes, I have two shades and two products that I've really been enjoying. The first is this Makeup by Mario um, Soft Pop Powder Blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. I'm actually wearing it today. So when you think of mauve, I feel like you would definitely think of something more like one, cool toned, and two, more with like a purple undertone. But this is just like a really neutral pink that maybe does lean a little bit cooler. Whatever it is though, it's stunning. And I feel like as we transition more so into the fall, it's going to be beautiful to continue wearing. And then we have the Laura Mercier, what is it called? Blush Color Infusion in the shade All That Sparkles. Laura Mercier, a brand that's been around for forever, one that I haven't really like, you know, paid that much attention to in all honesty. And then they launched these blush color infusions, which are basically a very soft everyday blush, great for a more minimalistic makeup look. They have a really nice sheen to them. And something about this just like drew me in. And I knew that I'd probably really like this color again for just kind of everyday looks, but especially as we transition into the fall, it's a really pretty kind of like just nude pink. Can you see that? It's almost more so just like a nude with a pink undertone. And you can see that slight like luminosity to it. Again, it is incredibly beautiful. I've been reaching for it a ton and I haven't heard that many people talking about it online yet. So I would really recommend it. Both these colors are so good, not just for year round, but again, as we transition more so into the fall, I'm just, I know that I'm going to be reaching for these a ton. Lastly, oh my gosh, no surprise here. I have so many lip products to talk about, but we're going to try and go through these pretty quickly. The Div beauty lip liners oh my gosh they're so good I have a couple different shades I just brought one to show you guys I believe this is actually the shade one these are beautiful creamy lip liners that do not budge you kind of have to work quickly with this product because once you line your lips with this like the color is stuck so if you're somebody like me who sometimes likes to diffuse the color with their fingers after they apply it like you need to do that really fast but they're so creamy they're so good they also smell like vanilla similarly to the summer fridays skin tint and a product that i love on like no makeup makeup days this right here the persona cosmetics e-balm in the shade meditate i was sent this but mark my words i will be repurchasing this with my own money once i'm out i definitely have a ton of tinted balms in my collection but this in my opinion is like the perfect nude it doesn't pull too pink it doesn't pull too brown and it gives like the perfect wash of color without being overkill or without being like barely visible but like super pretty right it kind of matches the Laura Mercier blush that would be really pretty together actually they have a couple other shades but this one is the most neutral and I just think it's really beautiful and I've been wearing it a lot if you want a liquid lipstick that is comfortable but still will Will not budge until you're ready to take it off. These are them. They're Urban Decay Vice Lip Bonds. Wow. I feel like, first of all, Urban Decay has been killing it. They are making a full comeback. They've been crushing the game. I love everything that they've been coming out with recently. I have two colors. This is the one that I've been reaching for as we transition into the fall. This is the shade Safe Word. So this is one of those products that you have to shake to activate, kind of similarly to the Lady Gaga House Labs, like Atomic Shake Liquid Lipstick. After you shake, I usually do it for like 10 to 12 seconds. Then you just apply it to your lips, let it completely dry first, and then it will not budge. It doesn't come off when you're eating. This is one of the only lipsticks that I can confidently like kiss Kevin when we're out in public and know that it's not going to like transfer onto his face. This is the color Safe Word by the way. It's a really pretty like cooler toned, pretty like true nude. Um, but they are just absolutely incredible. I'm definitely going to be picking up the red shade for the holidays um, because I love wearing a red lip but I feel like part of the reason I don't do it more often is because I'm just so afraid that it's going to go everywhere. And so with a red in this formula, I know that I'm good to go. These are just like absolutely incredible. Okay, and finally, we have the brand new, again, another Fenty product, but this is Fenty Beauty. This is the brand new Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Ice in the shade Cold Hearted. Now again, this is a pretty new launch. It only came out about a week and a half ago as I'm filming this video. I was so excited to get my hands on this and it said that it was still online only, but my Sephora 
came in clutch and they had these available in store right by the register. I love the Fenty Beauty Heat Glosses, which you guys probably know are like a plumping lip gloss that are definitely more like hot and kind of like spicy on the lips, if that makes sense. So when I heard that she was coming out with a gloss balm ice, I was really interested to try because again, it's a plumping gloss, but rather than feeling like hot on your lips, it's supposed to feel super cold. There's only one shade out right now, but honestly, I don't really mind that. And I love a clear gloss because on its own, it's beautiful or over a lip liner or another lip color. It's great and easy to work with. And I do love how it looks blue in the packaging, like super just smart branding move. This literally straight up smells like peppermint, like just straight up peppermint. And on the lips, it is so cooling. It's not painful at all, let me say that. But it definitely does tingle, but it just feels really cold and refreshing. And I just, I love the way this feels. I find myself applying this just like, just while I'm home without any makeup on. And I've also been using it in like other lip combos too, but definitely like a really cool product and one that I've been really, really enjoying. If you have really sensitive lips, this might still be too harsh for you, but it's definitely like, less painful than the Fenty Heat glosses. I don't find those like painful necessarily, but it like it's not as intense, I guess. Really cool though. I feel like a lot of plumping glosses kind of lean more towards the heat like factor rather than like an icy feeling. So congratulations Fenty. This is a really, really cool launch. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're finally done. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like I talked literally for a year and a half. Those are all of my current favorites, you guys, or I guess beauty favorites. I could probably make a whole nother video on like my current fashion favorites and kind of random lifestyle items. If you want to see that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations. Be sure to give this video a really big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. And also follow me on all of my other social media networks. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. I have an Amazon shop. I have a Like to Know It page. And then also in the description box, I have discount codes for a ton of different brands that I love that I think you guys will too. I love you all so much. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon in my next video. Okay, bye everybody.